Ever try to download a research paper only to hit a giant paywall? That's why Sci-Hub was created, a free online library that gives students and researchers access to millions of scientific papers. But now the Delhi High Court has ordered internet providers to block Sci-Hub and Library Genesis or LibGen, two of the biggest gateways for academic journals and books worldwide. Why does this matter? Most universities and independent scholars cannot afford subscriptions running into lakhs. For many, these platforms became the only practical workaround. Now that access is cut off, at least until the case is decided. So what exactly is Sci-Hub? It's a website that bypasses paywalls using leaked logins, stolen credentials, or using automated scripts to bulk download papers. Those are then stored in its massive archive and often mirrored into LibGen for long-term access. LibGen began as a shadow library for books, textbooks, and articles. It doesn't fetch new papers like Sci-Hub, but stores and shares what is uploaded in it. Publishers call both these piracy, accusing them of copyright theft and posing cybersecurity risks. But Sci-Hub has rejected it. On its site, it calls the ban an attack on free knowledge by multi-billion-dollar corporations. Its founder Alexandra Elbakian argues that science should belong to everyone, not to just those who can afford it. But this fight is not new and it is not unique to India either. Sci-Hub is already banned or restricted in countries like the US, UK, France and Russia. In India, the fight began in 2020 when three major publishers took Sci-Hub and Libgen to court. The court passed an interim direction that no new papers should be uploaded. But when investigators later found 2022 articles online and the new project called Sinet, the publishers pressed for a total ban. Now Elbakian says Sinet is different. It is a community where users share papers. But publishers say that it is piracy in another name. The court has now sided with the publishers and ordered a block on both these sites. Researchers now warn that this will widen inequalities and with no other viable alternatives it will hurt scholars outside elite institutions. Meanwhile the government points to one nation one subscription a plan to open thousands of journals to institutions. But India has over 50000 colleges and ONOS covers only a fraction that too mostly public institutions. Private colleges and independent researchers are still locked out. Critics also warn it lets the government decide which journals make the cut. raising fears of quiet censorship so the real question here is will banning sci-hub push india towards better open access solutions or will it just leave students and scholars chase work arounds instead of opportunities and that's it for today i am azifa fatima and this is shortcut where we break down the fine print behind the headlines in under 3 minutes every week stay tuned for the next one